It's my feel good breakfast show. Well done. Nice to have Noah in studio this morning. Right now, though, from the soccer pitches to food markets. And you know what? Local food markets have been exploding onto the South African scene. And uh, that inspired a lovely lady with the name Diane and her daughters, Jessica and Lissa, to travel the country and bring you the most amazing food markets out there in a collection of amazing recipes. And this is the book right here, Market Food. We have Lissa in studio with us as well. Lissa, very nice to have you in studio. Welcome. Thank you. What a journey it must have been. I mean, myself included, many people out there, we love food markets. I mean, it's fresh food, it's delicious, it's flavorful. What made you decide on, on, on writing a book in terms of food market culture in South Africa? Well, market food is about more than just the food. It's actually about the experience. So as you mentioned, um, my mum, my sister and I took a tasting tour around the country, all over South Africa. And first of all, we were looking for the, the best markets. And secondly, we were looking for really great and innovative market storeholders or vendors. Yeah. And so in the new book that we've produced, you're able to find all, a list of all the new markets, as well as a fabulous list of, of all the recipes that you would generally go to the market to find. Brilliant. So this is kind of your one-stop shop if you want to know what are some of the best food markets out there. And I was paging through it a little bit earlier, and I can't describe it other than, than fun. It's the, the pictures are it's enticing. I mean, your mouth is just watering looking at these recipes. Tell me a bit about the people that made this book a possibility, or the other contributors as well as you guys worked with. Yes, yeah, so it really was fun making it a family project with my mum. She's a world-renowned international author um, and specialises in creative writing. Then my older sister Jessica is an international banker, and she spent her time at um, the London Borough Market, which of course is, is of oh, course wow. world class. Yeah. Um, coupled with that, that's when I came in. I actually specialize in project management development, but love photography. And so that was when the team was merged and a wonderful compliment made. Oh. Um, so yes, it was very important for us to work together in pursuit of, of looking for these, these different contributors who are just a really wonderful bunch of people with fabulous food. Yeah, besides the fact that you guys had a lot of fun exploring these markets, it must have been a nice bonding experience for you guys as well. And it's nice that you were able to do this with your family. Now, uh, I mean, uh, how did you guys decide? There's so many different food markets out there. How did you decide which ones to go to, uh, get the recipes from? I mean, did you have a certain criteria? criteria that you work from? Yes, absolutely. I mean, there are just so many fabulous markets out there. I think you can immediately tell which is a good market from a bad market. Um, first of all, purely just from the way it's organized and just from the ambience. And of course, choosing all the different contributors, you can immediately see those who have a striking brand, those who've really done their research, and those who are really offering something that is colorful. We also wanted to ensure that there was a wide variety. So in this book, we feature, of course, for those who have a sweet tooth versus for those who have savory, we have main meals, um, juices, etc. So we really ensured that there was local and that there was a lot of variety. Brilliant. Now, working with these market storeholders in terms of getting their recipes, what was that experience like? I mean, was it kind of difficult to get the recipe out of them or, or was it fairly easy that they play ball with? <laughs> they certainly did play ball. I think they saw it as a fantastic opportunity to get some coverage and to get some leverage. And um, it really has been a fabulous journey working with them, just understanding how they have moved from um, generally being a market storeholder to then moving and to merging into often opening their own restaurants. And as a result, we needed to keep the book current. Mm. So what we decided to do is to open a new website that we've developed called Market Scoop also available on Facebook, that people can actually keep up to date with, with the different markets. Brilliant, Lisa. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. This is the book right here, Market Food. All right, beautiful, beautiful book. Incredible pictures as well. It really tells a nice story. But we're giving you a chance to win one of two copies of Market Food. Simply SMS the keyword GIFT to 33728 along with your name and city. That's GIFT, your name and city to 33728. Now, the official book launch happens tomorrow. So if you'd like to go and purchase a book and have it signed, head over to the VNA Market on the Wharf from 10.30 to 12 o'clock. That's on Sunday, the 17th of May. Easy as that. Lissa, thank you very, very Ooh, much for joining you. us and all the best for the journey of this book mm. as well. It's going to be very, very exciting, I'm sure. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> I might just hold on to this one for myself. Thank you so much. All right. <laughs> well, talking about food right now, let's see what uh, Chef Ruben Riffle brings to the table.